Hello my shadows and today I'm going to be taking you through a tour of my bookshelf. Hopefully it's going to be as steady as it needs to be because my tripod is not actually underneath this camera right now, if that makes any sense. So starting off we have this collection of Archie comics. We have Betty and Veronica, we have Jughead, Archie all the way through. And basically I was collecting them every time I went to the grocery store and I'd always like to buy them but specifically Betty and Veronica is my favorite. And then I have my clock right here. The left, which I didn't really want to show, is my, you know, my diploma, my trophy with my school on it and stuff like that. Right here is my library TBR. And I'm not endorsing any of these books because I don't know exactly, like, if they're good or not. So I'm not going to say that, you know, read these books. But they are my TBR, so obviously I have to get to them at some point, hopefully. How We Roll is apparently a story about a girl with alopecia. If you guys don't know what that is, it's basically she lost her hair. And then she meets a guy that ends up in a wheelchair that's like what I know of the synopsis. Kind of, sort of, is about people that were always like friends and they're put together by, or they pretend to be a, a real relationship to, for some reason, put one over on other people and then they end up actually becoming real or something like that. I don't know what the an anatomical shape of the heart is. Um, if I find it, I can put it in the, in the video. Winner Takes All is about, I think, two people competing to be the best of the best in school. The last best story is something to do with a newspaper and like the girl quits working for the newspaper at school and the guy's like wondering why. Chaotic Good is about a girl that basically cosplays and meets these dudes and she ends up, if I have a better description I'll put it here, but like she meets the dudes and she actually like, oh you know, I want to do this too. Say No to the Bro is, there's a, a prom bowl. So they basically compete to try to get prom dates or something like that. Love another perishable things I don't remember. Um, the truth about happily ever after is about a girl that basically dresses up as Cinderella at Disney. She works there and it's just about what fairy tales actually are. The Fall of Innocence I don't really know much about. I just know it's about abuse. Out of Left Field is about a girl that basically plays baseball. August and everything after. I think is a girl that basically is struggling and then she moves to a different state to try to get a fresh start. The Last Wish of Sasha Cade is about um, someone that loses their best friend and their best friend aka Sasha Cade basically his last wish is a scavenger hunt and she meets this dude on that scavenger hunt haven't read it yet. When My Heart Joins the Thousand I don't know. A Kiss in the Dark is about a girl that basically kisses someone in the dark of a football game and then she tries to go around finding who this dude is. Soul struck is basically there's a myth of if you get struck by lightning, it leads you to your soulmate or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. The leaving season is about a girl who loses her boyfriend. It's not really a spoiler because he talks about that. She loses her boyfriend who was in a mission in South America, and then the best friend of her boyfriend who she never really talked to. They basically find comfort in each other. The foreseeable future is about a girl that becomes an internet sensation because she saved someone with CPR. Trusting you in other lies is a girl that falls for a camp counselor, I guess. What happens now I think has to do, I don't know if it's an ED story, I think it's something like that, I can't entirely remember. Canary is about a girl that has to speak up about something that happens to her, I think it's an assault case and she has to speak up about it. Twinkle Stars is a manga that I've not read before, I'm interested in reading it. A funny thing about Love is a collection of three different stories, so it's very, very, like, a big description. One small thing is about a girl that I think she loses someone too. I've been reading a lot of those books lately for some reason. She loses someone and then she has to try to find out, like, or she gets with someone. Basically she meets this guy and then they end up, like, finding a friendship or striking up a relationship together and he is connected to what happened to the person that died. Emergency Contact is a very popular book I've been wanting to get to and it's about something like two people that talk over the internet or something and then they end up you know meeting a person. When We Collide, I, th I don't remember what that one's about. The next together is a time traveling story which I've never read one of those and they basically there's a couple that always meets each other in any time period you could possibly think of. Alex approximately is a, a a pairing of people that meet online for their love of movies. They try to meet in person. Over here I have DVDs, I have games and CDs, which I want to do more in depth about talking about like I was Selena Gomez in the scene, um, A Year Without Rain, stuff like that. Big Time Rush, of course. And then I have The Prince of Egypt. I love this book, see? I've had this for years, like, I think it says 98 we've had this book, so that's the year I was born. Um, Enjoying Everyday Life, Joyce Meyer Magazine. I have The Sound of Music. Basically, it's about, like, the 50th anniversary, all the information you could get. 
This is the Life with Archie Presidential Edition from back in the day. Manga for Beginners by uh, Christopher Hart. Talk to me in Korean, workbook level 1 to learn Hangul and learn Korean. Um, it's my year past book, which is like, you fill out just information with friends about life. It's kind of like Coke or Pepsi. Talk to me in Korean, level 1. My dad's book. Graphic novel of Romeo and Juliet, which I never read. We were supposed to read it for English class. I never read it for some reason. Um, Addie, an American girl, which I got from my grandma. Fearing the Natural Voice by Christian Link Later, which I had to read for my... We read some of it. It was our textbook for um, technical movement class for college. Scholastic book list, which is fun facts, weird trivia, and everything else. Every Young Woman's Battle workbook, which is about how to pursue purity and you know stuff like that. Take Two, which is the sequel to Trading Faces by Juliet De Villers and Jennifer Roy. Mockingjay, I was a huge Hunger Games fan back in the day. Catching Fire, Need I Show Them. The Hunger Games, I was big on that entire series for a while. Smile by Irina Telgemeier, which is a graphic novel that I absolutely love. Diary of Wimpy Kid, I was also into these books. Back in the day, I love Dork Diaries, actually, too, but, um, yeah, I don't know. I kind of want to sell these because I'm not as big on them anymore. And then I have my Colleen Hoover, my Coho books. I need to get more, but It Ends With Us is my first one I ever bought, uh, first one I bought by her. It was not the first one I read by her. Amazing. All Your Perfects, also by her. And then I have Night by El Ellie Weasel, which we read in eighth grade. Of course, my Bible, King James Version. Um, In a Heartbeat by Loretta Ellsworth, which I meant to read, I just never read all the way through. And I have a bunch of candy apple books, which I love, and they're all part of the same series. Accidentally Friends, Accidentally Famous, oh, actually no, these are different. Accidental Cheerleader is actually a different book, which I love reading. Um, Betty and Veronica's Guide to Life. This is what got me into Betty and Veronica comics altogether as a guide about friends, fashion, dating, school, and more. Like, I've had this since I was a child. It's missing pages, but it's sad. Um, get organized without losing it. You know, I was very disorganized, so I needed this. Um, Babysitter's Club, I only have one book, Claudia and the Genius of Elm Street, but I love all those books I've ever read. <laughs> Coke or Pepsi books, which you fill out. And I want to actually go through it one day and, like, relive it, but yeah. I got these from Scholastic Book Fair back in the day. It was really fun. And then I have Kimi ni Toroke, which are manga by Karuho Shina. And these are my sisters, actually, so, you know. And they're shoujo manga. If you never read them, you should read them. There's an anime for it as well, which I have on my shelf, too. My sister got me for Christmas. My ornament fell. Yeah. I love them. Gazai and Kiranuma. Alright. Over here, I have Lion... Er, the Narnia series, and the first book is not here because my sister has it, but I have all of them. And then, first Bible stories, which is like, you know, the Bible in short version with pictures. And then I have Joyce Meyer books, I love Joyce. I have Beauty for Ashes, Approval, Diction, Power Thoughts, Knowing God Intimately, Max Lucada, I also love Gentle Thunder, I didn't finish. When Christ Comes, the first one I read by him. Battlefield of the Mind, Unashamed by Lecrae. Love the cry. Seize a day by Just My and Living Beyond Your Feelings. I'm sure my mom's. Then down here I have my lovely game collection. So it would take me a long time to, you know, actually name them all, but you guys are familiar with the fact I do games on my channel. Though you don't know, I have Sims 3 as well, including Medieval. I am a huge Sims person. Um, so yes, it's also part of my life. And then Ban, why do I have a country accent? I have more Switch games than this. I have like Sonic Mania, Stardew Valley, um, and games like that, but I have them in DLC. These are actually the physical copy games I have. I have 80, The Bible Continues. I have Season 1 of Dreams and Mysteries by um, John Paul Jackson. I have The Prince of Egypt and Joseph King of Dreams, and this just turned 20 in December of 2018. I love it. Joseph King of Dreams, you're next. You're next next year. Um, Boy Meets World. I only have season 5, 6, and 7, but I want to get season 4 and maybe 3 because I really like the later seasons the best. I have Julian Michaels exercise DVDs because, you know, as, as painful as it is, it's, it really works. I have Rollercoaster Tycoon 3 Platinum, the movies, which I wish still worked, and then Kimmy Todoke, which has seasons 1 and 2, and then also the movie, 
which I forgot that I had two seasons, not just one. And then I have my capture card, which I recorded so many videos on, like you guys don't know. This is what I use every time, it's dusting out, for five years to record gameplay for all you guys. I wish it worked. I don't think it works anymore because I tried it and that's why I haven't been recording the games I would like to. I hope to get a new one soon. And then I have this phone, Sony Ericsson. I have Understanding Dreams and Visions by John Paul Jackson, the CD case. I have 3DS Games here, Animal Crossing New Leaf, Mario Luigi Dream Team, which is my sister's, uh, Mario Luigi Paper Jam, Mario Kart 7, Story of Seasons, Trio of Towns, and then Super Smash Bros. 3DS, which I broke my control stick for, okay? And I actually have more um, games than this, but they are actually on my 3DS because they're built in. Um, or not built in, they're DLC, so Fire Emblem, um, Shadow, Fire Emblem, Shadows, Echoes of Valencia and Fire Emblem Fates Birthright are in the 3DS itself. Then down here, in the cabinets, I have nebulizer stuff and this uh, eraser box that my sister got. She got me like, or basically she just gave me her blade she doesn't use anymore because she uses mail razors instead. And then I have something for physical therapy. Um, over here is a mess actually, is my camera which is my really nice camera I was given for Christmas and then I have a bunch of Wii U, Wii stuff, recording equipment. Down here I have a bunch of diaries, yearbooks, and journals which I want to go through with you guys because I have so many things I wrote. And then I just have some old, like, old electronics and stuff. Like I have a Walkman, um, a DS that doesn't work. I think there's a DS Lite in here that doesn't work. It doesn't have a charger or something like that. They work but they don't have chargers. Um, and then an old flip phone that I had. And, yeah, all kinds of stuff in here. Oh, my diary is falling down. There's my Sonic Air. And underneath is just, ooh, that's dusty. What is this, actually? I don't know. Oh, this is when I was saying for my permit. Oh, yeah. That was a time of, that was very extensive. And then I also have, oh. This is also something I want to share as well. The school days is something my grandma gave me. And then I also have an old sketchbook, which was not my not my best work. Uh, this is before I was really getting serious about drawing. On my wall, I have like a bunch of drawings that I did recently. This is not the quality I like. This is not my quality now, thankfully. I have this notebook, which, oh, math. I almost shuddered. <laughs> Midpoint, oh my gosh, okay. Let's just get out of there as quickly as possible. And then, my ISN, which we have for history, which is basically empty, for some reason. Okay, word. And then, ugh. oh yes, I printed these things out because I wanted to be able to draw these things one day, so. And if you guys don't know, I draw from reference, so I need to look at the picture to draw it. So I was gonna draw all kinds of Paper Mario, Thousand Years Door stuff, I did draw I didn't draw Macho Grubba, but I drew with the other one like him in the original Paper Mario. I just didn't finish it. So I had like a ton of things I wanted to draw. And look at Dupless. <laughs> um, what else do I have? This is my bigger. This is supposed to be for painting. I just haven't done gotten into painting yet. I'm still trying to get used to drawing again, because I stopped for a while. So I was gonna do like a lot of different um drawings and stuff in here and maybe even some posters so I can hang up on my wall of drawings that would be cool if I do that instead not just painting necessarily um, I was getting into face paint as well because I saw so many different tutorials on YouTube so I was starting out small and then I have a planner whoa 2016 2017 huh this is way back when when I was first wow I was really trying to get things going with YouTube so I was like really trying to plan so this is like you guys are seeing some old stuff wow and then, this is when I was tracing my drawings. I mean, I, I don't know. If I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it for real. Old paints. Whoa. Yeah, this is old paints and an old acrylic artist thing which I haven't used. Air filter box, and then a fanfic story info. I write fan fiction. I'm not gonna give out my pen name because I feel like that's not, I'm not wanting to do that just yet because that's. You know, that's the whole other step. Because the purpose of fanfiction as well is to hold on to anon anonymity. So I'm not going to do that just yet, but hopefully one day I will say what my pen name is. And then, yeah, that's it. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this book tour, and hopefully I can do one more in depth, like talking about like, I don't know, maybe gave you more backstory on how I came to know these books, or why I have them, the CDs, stuff like that. Maybe you can give you an update on if I read any of these books, if I liked any of them, and what I would rate them. And I'll see you all next time. Bye guys and smiles all around.